Sometimes taking a step away or taking some time off can be the best thing to become rejuvenated, whether it's trading or anything else in life. Today, I'm gonna to share with you an interview of a trader who did just that. So we're going to be talking to Prasant, just giving us a bit of an update. This isn't his first session. Um, and as I say, we're meeting Prasant tomorrow. So I'm going to do a bit more interrogation tomorrow <laughs> when I see him. And uh, if you're watching the recording of this, guys, and you catch a recording of this today, tomorrow is Saturday and there's going to be a trader meetup in London. With COVID restrictions, we're not really taking that into consideration. We've kind of invited the whole world of tier one so i don't know how that's going to work out but we'll just bowl in somewhere and uh, and they'll let us they'll let us in i'm sure so if you're interested in that definitely uh reach out to naomi uh or dion or prasan or anyone who's in the skype group and they'll add you to the skype group if you can show id all right so prasan let's have let's have you on mate yeah uh, it's been a while since i've uh, been on here yeah, it's been a little while. So, first of all, tell us where you was at last time you came on. Yeah, so um, so I think I think I've spoken to you or I'm spoken to Kill. I I wanted to move back to the UK, so I was living in Geneva um, yep. until a few months ago. I can moved back to the UK two two months ago. Um, wanted to take trading uh, full time. The main reason is because my like my, my family live here, my sisters live here, you know. Um, so my plan was always to move back eventually. Um, Where do you, you live in Bracknell or somewhere, do you? Yeah, yeah, it's in Bracknell. Yeah. Bracknell, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Move back. Good to memory. My, my small uh, single room from living in, a, in an apartment yeah. in a double bed, a double room. Um, yeah, right. That's what it is. Um, I, I like it. I'm with my family, you know. Um, it's like everything's here. My meals are cooked for and like taken care of, so I, I quite enjoy it. Um, and I can focus fully on trading right now, which is what I've been doing. Um, yeah, since I've been back um so yeah like last time i think i came on i'm not sure if i came on um like i was i, I think i came on a very long time ago when i was testing the Ooh. cypher um since then like i tested the daily chore which i've been trading right. um for nearly a year now um but now i've been focusing on trading um testing like the double tops and double bottoms um okay. i started towards the end of last year i believe um but i took some time off um at the start of this year for a few months just for some personal reasons um i just just i just couldn't like i physically i wasn't able to like work properly so mm. um i started working again um just before I, I left switzerland and um been focusing on that and now because i'm here full time um accountability session is the one thing that i want to do on a monthly basis so you know so i'm held accountable because there's no one else watching over me and right um, because during the daily chore as well i realized like i was very much involved with the community um like with a kill and everyone else like steven and like a few other traders we were doing yeah. like uh zoom sessions on the weekends just going over you know our findings and you know bouncing ideas off uh, which really helped like really honestly really yeah. helped. so oh I yeah I need to do that but i need to be back on the same like wavelength as i was then um in order for me to you know progress forward so for me yeah. like accountability session is like the one thing that i can come on every month and just share my you know my findings my my results just yeah get an update from everyone else as use well. it use it how you want to use it like use it how you want to use it that's the thing there's no structure to this it's basically just momentum progress you just spilling your beans you know on what you're doing and it really does help uh, as you as you just said so where are you what are you focusing on like literally right now what, what's your primary focus in your trading double top um, double bottoms where are you at double, double tops um counter um counter trend um so i started so initially when i first started i you know i was like okay i'll test double top double bottoms at structure and as yeah. i was doing it i was testing counter trend and like trend continuation trend continuation because you know you yeah. can get double tops either way um, I was testing it and then my rules were like, I, it's just, you know, I went back and forth so many times. Um, and then I was like, I realized, you know what? No, I don't want to test the trend continuation version of the double top and bottoms. I just want to uh, test the counter trend one. So yeah, 
Uh, all I've done is change all my, you know, trading rules, everything. And now all I look at is the daily time frame is my high time frame. Uh, 240 is the, the, you know, trading time frame. And I just yep. look at double tops and double bottoms in the counter trend, just trying to find like a small movement, you know, in the opposite direction. Yep. Um, been testing that. So I have a list of 15 pairs that I want to test. What uh, movement are you looking at for targets? Can you explain yes. that to us? Or so yeah, yeah, of course. Um, so, uh, so I've got rules. Um, so you know, if if the daily, if it's an impulse leg, you know, going up to a structure, I will my yep. target would be down to the previous structure on the higher time frame, unless obviously there is some kind of a swing on the trading time frame going up to the structure, then I'll move my targets to the the t- trading time frame swing swing. Yeah. Um, if it's an anchor leg. There on the daily time frame, then um, I need a swing on the trading time frame as well yeah. uh, in order to take targets. Um, if if there's no you know a swing on the trading time frame for anchor legs, yeah. um, I won't I won't take the trade. So essentially, yeah, like my rules because um I've been trading daily chore for nearly a year. Like one thing I really like about that daily chore is that my rules are so black and white. Like I never have to question when I'm, at the end of the night when I you know at the end of the day when I. Got get a log on to put trades on. I'd never have to question whether I need to take be in that trade or not be in that trade. Mm. So I want that in you know when I'm trading like on the four hour time frame because I know essentially yeah like I've been testing for a while and every time I question whether I, I need to take this trade or not, I you know I, I'm like okay then this isn't working. I need to find a rule where um, it gives me a bit more clarity on whether I should yep. take the trade or not. So that's why I've been going back and forth quite a few times. Um, Literally, again, at the end of last week, I re- I questioned one thing that I was doing and I was like, okay, cool. I need to review everything I've tested so far, go through, you know, my charts and see whether I would take some of the trades that I'll, you know, I, I, I noted down. So I've, I've been doing yeah, that. Great. I've been going back on, I've tested five pairs so far. Um, okay. And uh, three of them are profitable. Um, two of them are not. Um, so, yeah, it's just I have. 10 other lined up uh, to test. I'll just you know, test in those. And what, what have you found? Have you found anything interesting during that process of like reviewing from kind of the third person almost? Um, just like uh, what, what trade you should have been in, if there's anything like maybe you thought you should have been in one and then you found that actually it wasn't valid or the other way around. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've, the, the, I found a few um, where you know I was in a trade where I had locked the trade. Um, whereas I've now that I've gone back, I you know I've taken them out even if they're profitable. Um, it it doesn't matter. Like if it doesn't meet my rule, it doesn't meet my rule. Like if it doesn't work, it doesn't work for me. Um, because yeah. you know, like I don't I don't want to question myself when I'm trading life. Like I don't want no. to be you know thinking twice or like you know trying to come up with excuse on whether I should be in a trade or not. So, no. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, have you been, what would you say you struggle with most? Um, struggle with the most initially was just coming up with the rules. Um, just, just trying to figure out um, where to take the, where to take trades was my main, um, it was just really difficult in the beginning. Uh, I'm not sure. I think like I realized what made it quite difficult because um, when I first started, uh, you know, I went through the course, like, I, you know, I learned everything and whatnot. Um, and then I dived into um, testing a cipher um, without like, because I was working full time at the time, I didn't really catch up on live rooms or anything. And same yeah. with the daily chore as well. Like I was like, you know, it's a daily strategy. I don't really need to be in the live room. So I didn't, I didn't really attend live rooms. I was always catching up on QAs or like accountability sessions. But in terms of QA, uh, in terms of live rooms, I, I didn't really, you know, no. go into them. <clears throat> Whereas earlier this year when I took the time off, um, I focused on live rooms. Like I wasn't, you know, attending them live, but I was catching up on them in the evening. And yeah. I realized like, you know what, like if I had started, if I had been in the live rooms from the beginning, I would have learned so much more because even when even the, the the time I took off, like I learned so much just attending yeah. live rooms. So my my one of my goals going forward is actually just to be in the live room every time every day, um, like attend every single live rooms. I've tr- I've been in a few um, already uh, since I've been back um, yeah. because I'm testing and I, if I feel like I'm a bit behind on testing, I focus on testing before going into live room. But I do want okay. to try to attend you know as much as I can um, of the live rooms. 
Great. Okay, so you said you've got 10 pairs to test. How long do you think it's going to take you to do those? When do you want to get that done by? Uh, a month. I want to give myself a month. In a month? To do that. Yeah, because I, from what I calculated, you know, it takes me two, two to try, uh, test a week. Um, and I, yeah, and I should have the others done in a month's time. Hopefully, okay. like that's that's the aim. I'm, unless you know, I I find something a gap in my rule, and then I have to review it the entire thing that I've tested again, which I hopefully not. Like I don't think no. I have gaps so at the moment. But if I do, then obviously I'll go back and review everything I've tested again uh, before moving on to the next um, yep. next pair. So yeah, and a month is my goal. Um, even if it takes until end of September, I'm okay. Like that's you know that's my max yep. limit. But it's it's just one pair at a time, and I've I've just got a few strategies that I've you know whilst going through the pairs that I've seen that I I quite like because I see them quite often. Um, which yeah. I've got the, the you know I've got it on my notion just a list of just pairs and strategies that with a box with a box next to them, and I'm just ticking them off as I go along and you know adding it to the portfolio because it's a you know two forty um trading time frame. There there aren't really that many yeah. um trades. Frequency is very low. Um, even for the double tops and double bottoms, um, some pairs I'm getting like 30 over the 10 years, some are like 25. Right. So it's not, I mean, but they're very, you know, clean, they're clean trades. Like that's yeah, how yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. That's what you want. That's what yeah, you want. Yeah. Excellent. All right, mate. Well, look, I've written down your short term goals, longer term goals, what you're struggling with, what you're going to get done. Um, and obviously, we're going to catch up tomorrow anyway. So we'll talk more then. Um, but yeah it's been great to see where you're at it, you seem like you've gone up a level in terms of focus it looks like you've got a second wind here and uh, yeah I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing how attending the live rooms and everything's going to help you and mate if you need anything we're always here so keep up the accountability sessions cool thanks Jason see you in a month yeah see you well see you tomorrow <laughs> all right cool um that's it. Prasant was the only guy registered on today, so we can get back over into the Q&A. Um, just before we head off, though, uh, Tony's in the house. Tony, did you watch the Always Free show yesterday because you won the hoodie? <laughs> well done, mate. Uh, I take it you're an XXL because you're about seven foot something. But um, you just need to let us know what colour, what size. Uh, black, grey, white. Thanks to Prasant for coming on. And uh, anyone that's in the trader meetup tomorrow, I'll see you all there in London Bridge at four, I think it is. And um, yeah, until then, just let us know if you need anything and we'll see you inside the platform. Take care. Thank you for checking out the show, guys. Remember, we do have that 14-day risk-free trial available on the Tier 1 trading platform. It allows you to take some courses, network with our community, hop in some live room, and you know take advantage of some software and stuff like that as well. So if you want to sign up, www.tier1trading.com. It's risk-free, no auto bill or funny stuff like that. Just come in, indulge, and sponge as much as you can for 14 days.